What is the first thing that comes to your mind when one talks about the Creeper from Victor Salva's Jeepers Creepers movie franchise? Well, if you ask us, we are still deciding on that. Not sure if it is a demon or a devil, or just some hungry thing from some dark corner of the world. This raging, feral beast here is absolutely unpredictable and simply loves to play by his own rules. He is even capable of fooling you into believing that he is human, but we highly suggest you don't fall for that. His disguise fails the minute he comes into view, and trust us when we say it is not a pretty sight. We have created today's video to give you all a better understanding of the Creeper's anatomy. It will be a fascinating, in-depth analysis of the character, so we suggest you stay tuned to the very end of this video. Without further ado, let's get rolling then. Before we get into our explanation, we do have one very small request. If you enjoy our content, then please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Now let's begin. You hear me? You take me, you fucking what exactly is the Creeper? Some actually address the Creeper as a fallen angel. They believe that when God exiled Satan and his followers from paradise, one of the fallen angels did not land where he was supposed to. Instead, he arrived on Earth and continued to wage war against God by butchering his favorite creations. Those who have seen the movie, and by this we are referring to the first movie, will remember the Creeper dumping his victims down a pipe that leads to the basement of an old rundown church. Now try recalling the victims that Derry found inside the basement sewn to the walls and ceilings. They were all discovered in positions that looked like they were being crucified. Come to think of it, it is just another way to mock Christ. We all know Satan or his other fallen angels for that matter cannot be destroyed. Well, nor can the creeper be. This immortal demon, however, can be resisted or fought though. And briefly may we add so but mind you, he will come back again every 23 years to continue his lifestyle of harvesting and eating human body parts of his choice. As we delve further into the origins of the creeper, Mark Andreco and Kuber Bayul's 2018 comic series Jeepers Creepers does have an interesting take on the creeper. The storyline has grad student Devin working on his dream thesis on myths in American history, when his research takes him to Mexico. Mexico, and no points for guessing that he somehow manages to establish this link between him and the Creeper. It is through the comics that we learn how the Creeper has been around since the medieval age. In fact, not only has he been a part of several ancient cultures, but to many, he has also essayed the rule of God. You will be further surprised to know that the Creeper apparently had some connection even with the Native Americans, and he was also accountable for the abrupt disappearance of the local community of Roanoke Island in North Carolina. People who fancy theories will love what we have to offer next. There are hordes out there who have categorized the Creeper either as a gargoyle, a Wendigo variant, or this extraterrestrial being from an entirely different world. In fact, there are lots of legends that state how the Creeper was once a man who was cursed. The man soon realized that in order to survive, he had to feed, and that is how he began devouring on the human flesh. Now, if one is to examine his methods or let's say his personality, it is only fair to say that he fits the shoe of a vampire. Don't worry, we will be citing our reasons and then you can give it a thought, and let us know what you think. The Creeper tends to share many similar traits with a vampire. To begin with, both are smart and they absolutely take pleasure in coming back from the dead. Both have weaknesses despite being in possession of eternal life. Both are vulnerable to burning as well as decapitation, but then again, the Creeper's regeneration prowess helps him regrow his head, and all he has to do for that is just consume the head of a victim. Speaking of powers, both have stupendous levels of stamina, and they hardly ever like to leave any traces behind. How does the Creeper regenerate? First and foremost, the Creeper possesses the power to regenerate literally any part of his body, and he just has to feed on a similar part from his victim to set the process. That's how he has survived since the biblical time. This gift of regeneration also serves him as a healing factor, as he has the liberty to throw away his damaged body part right after consuming the substitute organ from his victim. Besides this, he also has an exceedingly high level of durability. We are talking about interminable gunshot wounds in crucial areas, high caliber machine gun wounds to the point of even getting badly hit by vehicles moving at a very high speed and falling from altitudes that would put any human in instant mortal danger. If you recount the incidents of Jeepers Creepers 2, the Creeper, in spite of getting impaled with harpoons and having a rather nasty head wound, is shown moving. He stops when he reaches the end of the 23rd day of his vicious killing spree. One of the most iconic scenes from the second movie happens to be the part where the Creeper removes his mutilated head after one of the students impales him using a javelin only to decapitate another student and put his severed head as his new head. 
The first film also has a scene on similar lines. We are talking about the part where the creeper picks up the severed head of a male cop, sniffs it to his heart's content, and then pulls out the tongue with his teeth and devours it. Another scene that deserves mention is one from the 2022 movie Jeepers Creepers Reborn. Please know that while we in our sane minds would not recommend the film to anybody, there happens to be a particular scene that needs to be spoken about, given that we are talking about how the creeper regenerates. The scene has the creeper dragging the body of the character Carrie who he had previously killed by aiming his battle axe at her head. This is followed by the creeper pulling out her hair and relishing her brain. Can the creeper talk? One of the most settled yet unsettling traits of the creeper is that he does not talk, which usually makes him a lot more intimidating. He can scream, make an unnerving screeching sound, and whistle, but that does not give anyone a clue on his next move. So would you be shocked if we told you that the character of the creeper was initially supposed to talk? We are talking about a deleted scene from the first movie, which has the creeper killing the cat lady, after which he grabs her body and comes to the porch. Looking at the horrified duel of Trish and Derry, the creeper wickedly remarks, she don't smell too good Darius, post, which he throws the corpse on the floor. Now, there's a high chance that the old western accent of the creeper on display does have some connection with his origin, but we are not entirely sure of that. For those of you wondering how the creeper got to know Derry's full name, it is hinted that he got to know while sniffing his clothes at the diner parking lot earlier. Sadly, his dialogue was removed from the movie because, somehow, it did not fit with the mysterious personality of the creeper. The creeper can smell specific organs of his victims. Apparently, he has a third nostril right on the bridge of his nose that not only lets him smell fear in his victims, but also the very organs that he wants from them. We want to cite two examples here. We will begin with the 2017 movie Jeepers Creepers 3. A particular scene shows a bunch of teenagers on their dirt bikes discovering the creeper's truck. One of the boys pees on the truck's cow catcher and leaves from there. When the creeper returns, it does not take him much time to figure things out. He is seen smelling the pee and going after the boy looking highly pissed. For the next scene, we will be stressing on Jeepers Creepers 2 that has the creeper examining the students inside the bus after strategically taking out the adults first. It's here that we get a clear view of his third nostril, which he resorts to in order to single out his victims. Can he survive without his head? As seen in Jeepers Creepers 2, he can survive without a substitute for his head for some time, but it is unclear how long can the creeper survive without a substitute head. What we have been able to make out is that it is the intimidating clawed hood and the wings that are the fundamental parts of the creeper. As far as the rest of the body parts are concerned, they are all additions and can be easily replaced. Jeepers Creepers 2 showed how the creeper tore his own damaged head off, tossed it away, and replaced it with a new head of one of his victims. Those who have paid attention to the minute details of the movie will know that the the clawed hood remains intact with the original torso, and it is just a new head which gets replaced there. Don't shoot at the goddamn is the truck part of the creeper's body? The customized truck inevitably happens to be the creeper's prized possession. As a matter of fact, you will agree with us when we tell you that he is willing to go to certain lengths to booby trap it and then, of course, retrieve it. The vehicle, as we all know, is chiefly used to transport body, scare potential victims, and get a whiff of their fear. It functions as per the creeper's will. It even opens the door for the creeper and drives by itself. The truck is highly modified. The engine is amplified. The body and tires are bulletproof. There are spikes on the rear doorway that are meant to kill curious intruders or victims attempting to escape, and a closer look inside will show how it is packed with knives and spears. The creeper has telepathic control over his vehicle and can summon weapons from his truck by merely gesturing. Also, if he happens to be wounded, he prefers eating the preferred organs of his victims inside the truck. The truck's highlight is the personalized license plate that reads, Beating You, which is basically, Be Eating You, but often gets confused with, Beating You. Can the creeper reproduce? You can freak out if you want to, but there's this theory which states that there is a possibility that the creeper is related to Stephen King's Pennywise, the dancing clown. Truth be told, they do weirdly share many similarities. Both have their hibernation periods, both choose victims on the basis of their fears, and the duo simply love tormenting their chosen victims before killing them. Now comes the part if the creeper can reproduce. For those of you wondering why we are referring to the clown here, well, here's the catch. As per the conclusion of King's novel, Pennywise was pregnant. At least, that's what the losers had stated. Now try having an open mind and think if the clown was really pregnant and had survived the final battle against the losers. Then there is every bit of a possibility that the clown's child traveled to other parts of the country 
with the sole aim of causing chaos. Well, if you take a look in the King's multiverse, Pennywise is seen in various cities and that sheds light on the solitary fact that he has many versions. In that way, it would not be entirely wrong to state that the Creeper can be a child of the clown, but then again, it is just a theory. We don't have anything to back up the claim. Also, it is the cinematic establishment of the Creeper being a demonic entity that suits his image more than him being a spawn of the clown. Can we kill the Creeper? The answer is pretty simple. The Creeper can be hurt, but he cannot be killed. However, that's not what fans of the franchise would like to believe. They have come up with the craziest of ideas and we will be sharing our favorite ones with you. Some have stated that the Creeper should be cast in concrete, then taken to the deepest part of the ocean and left there. Well, if you thought that was dark, there are some who are willing to locate the Creeper while he is hibernating only to put him on a rocket and send him to the sun. Now that's batshit crazy, right? Marvelous verdict. Anyway, with this, we finally come to the end of our video here. What do you guys think of the Creeper? We'd love to know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Also, stay tuned with us as we promise to come back with more exciting content. Till then, goodbye and have a nice one.